Hi guys, uh, welcome back. On this episode, we are going to be working on this old metal lathe that uh, is bell driven. And uh, let me bring in here and I'll show you what we're going to be doing with um, fixing the drive belt on here. So originally this had a, a leather drive belt and uh, you know, they, they get old and they break so we replaced it with this um, this polyurethane drive belt and I already cut the section out because I'm going to shorten this but the problem was is that I bought a belt that was too long for the adjustment on here so what we're going to do is try to shorten this to make it fit on here so to modify these belts what we want to do is just heat up the end here and uh, the best way to do that is with a, a little jig set up and uh, you know, just something to heat up something to melt it in this case we're using a, a map tank on uh, just a propane setup so to start we're gonna just heat up this in this case I'm just using a piece of 16 gauge just any piece of thin metal that you can heat up pretty quickly and melt both sides together and then a straight edge to align the belt and then just kind of hold it in place. So let's heat this up and... All right, that should be plenty hot enough. And then make sure the belt is flat. And we just kind of want to get both ends melted a little bit. And then line up and stick it together. And then hold it till it cools. This could take a couple of minutes to just to cool down, so I probably overheated that that piece of steel, so I don't think it had to be that hot. All right, nope, don't think I held it long enough. All right, let's try it again. All right, attempt number three. Turns out uh, fourth time is the charm. I am not sure what I did differently on that fourth one, but uh, I mean that's bonded to back together. So now we can just trim off the sides here. Clean up the inside a little bit. That seems like a really good bond there. But the only way to find out for sure is let's throw it in the machine and see how it does. So the new belt is in and uh, it, it has a lot of tension. Like uh, it would not do that before when it was maxed out. So um, let's plug it in, let's check and see if we got everything aligned. And
actually turned out pretty awesome. Uh, never uh, actually done this before. And I just watched uh, an old timer doing it, and uh, you know, it seemed pretty simple. So uh, actually, it did strong enough to hold up to on this lathe, and you know, I, I guess that's how you can short or. I don't know if you'd want to extend it, but I don't see why not, but nonetheless, I guess that's how you shorten or extend uh, polyurethane flat belts, or um, uh, like polyurethane um, like round belts or anything like that. But, uh, oh cool, I'm pretty happy with that. But, uh, you know, until next time, take care. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.